Okay, so this one, black coffee. Actually, there's cream in there. Okay, so uh, this one, standard stress level one problem. So you need your torsion engineer's bend in equ uh, torsion engineer's equations. So if you can recall them, you got your torque divided by your polar second moment of area. That has the same units, but it's different to the second moment of area when you're bending a beam. Then you've got your stress, which is now shear stress, divided by the radius location of interest equals uh, the shearing modulus times by the angle of twist divided by the length of the shaft. Right, so first remember that your polar second moment of area is not the same as your second moment of area. I look that up on the table. I prefer using, using the first year 32 pi, and then we had outer diameter to the power 4, take away inner diameter to the power 4. Obviously, if we've got um, a solid shaft, then your D inner just disappears. Be careful, because we've been given diameters in this particular drawing. Uh, so we've got some D's and we've got some R's knocking around. First thing we need to do is what's the largest um, torque that we need to apply? Well, the largest torque is going to be associated with um, the, uh, the, what is the largest torque that can be applied? Well, you, you apply the torque on the outside, so the largest will be the torque that you can apply so that it does not exceed that value. Okay. So we're looking for a torque. We're going to put in our J and our shear stress value and our R. So because we've given in diameters, I like to work in diameters, I will change the R to be a diameter. And uh, that's it. So I'm wondering if I'm going to want to use the next, next part is what is the minimum value of shearing stress? That sounds like I want to reuse J, so I'll find J separately. So pi over 32, alpha is 60 to the power 4, 40 to the power 4 times 10 to the minus. 12. Okay. So pi divided by 32 times by 60 to the power 4. Take away 40 to the power 4. Okay, so in SI units, it's one point. 0, 2, 1, work to 5, 6 fig, got 4 so far, so that's 0, times 10 to the minus 6 meters to the power 4. So I know that value. The shear stress is 120. megapascals, the, the outer diameter is 60, and I want to divide that by 2. Let's put all that in my calculator. And I get 4,084 
units of torque are newton meters. Since I'm in SI units, so that is fine and dandy. Part B, what is the minimum shearing stress? What is the corresponding value for the shearing stress, minimum shearing stress in the, in the shaft? Okay, so we could rearrange this. Now, your maximum torque and your J is not going to change. So you could solve this by ignoring these values entirely. So take the minimum, which will be for the inner, and the maximum stress is on the outer. So we'll, since we're looking for the minimum, we can then divide th this equation 1 by this equation 2, jiggle it around, and we get ratios of R1, Ri, divided by R0, our outer, times by the shear stress on the outer. So R I R inner divided by R outer is the same as D inner divided by D outer. So that's going to be the same as saying 40 divided by 60 times by, what's the maximum, 120. Megapascals. So 120 times by 4 divided by 6 is 80 megapascals. So that's the stress experienced on the inner section of our shaft here. Okay, that's all we need to do.